Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. 50 villages of Tigranakert in Western Armenia will be underwater. Public organization operating in Artsakh addressed an open letter to Vladimir Putin. If the authorities say that it is the territory of Azerbaijan, are we talking about the beginning of the demarcation of the border? Aram Orbelan. Armenian ombudsman confirms that some villages of Goris are isolated. In Syria, 50 villages were devastated due to the threat of the attack of the Turkish armed forces. Iraq wants to increase the turnover with Armenia. A map presenting monasteries and churches of Artsakh has been published. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The construction of the Tigranakert region in Western Armenia is scheduled to be completed next year. When the water is fully collected, 50 villages will move under the reservoir. The ancient Roman village of Entag will also go down in history. There is also a fortress in the village of Entag, which is an important historical settlement. It's not known exactly when it was built, but it is recorded of the Roman period. The Entag fortress church later turned into a mosque and a quadrangle minaret was added later. The fortress declared a a specially protected area in 2015 has turned into a ruins due to the neglect and indifference. The government of Western Armenia condemns the failure of the Turkish authorities to respect prior, free and informed consent, as well as to changes taking place in the environment as a result of this unnatural policy. About 3,000 public organizations operating in Artsakh have addressed an open letter to their president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, with a request to prevent Azerbaijan's proactive actions in Artsakh. Such behavior of the Azerbaijani side undermines stability in the region, poses a threat to the people of Artsakh, and aims to restrict the peacekeeping mission of the Russian Federation in Artsakh. It is stated to the letter. You can read the content of the letter in full at the following link below. Candidate of Legal Sciences Specialist in International Law, Lawyer Aram Orbelian, referring to the establishment of Azerbaijani customs points on the Goris Kapan Instained Highway and the establishment of inappropriate control, notes that in fact the Azerbaijani side is blocking the road for the Armenian side. According to him, everything is very simple, logical, but at the same time illegal. By the way, according to his assessment, this is illegal from the point of view of international law, since these territories are the territories of the Republic of Armenia. At the same time, the Armenian authorities legitimize these illegal actions from the point of view of international law, claiming that it is Azerbaijan and they can do anything on the territory of Azerbaijan. This part has not yet been delimited in any way and demarcation cannot occur without a legal basis. To the question concerning the demarcation of the border has not officially stated. According to official statements of Armenia, will there be an opportunity to discuss the issue of ownership of the section of the Goris Kapan Highway? before that. Orbelia noted that if the same people will remain in power, there is no need to speak about negotiations. The government of Western Armenia reminds that all those decisions that are to the detriment of the Armenian nation's rights will be considered invalid and there is a study on the demarcation of the eastern border in Azerbaijan on the demographic data related to the Article 230 of the Treaty of Severs. Armenian Ambassador Arman Tatoyan denies the press reports that a connection between the villages of Bartravan, Shurnuk and Vorotan of Goris has not really become complicated. In order to protect our international patterns from being misled, as well as to prevent these misleading provocations, I am publishing only part of one of the objective evidence directly acquired by the Human Rights Defenders Office, a short video. An ambassador writes, commenting on the video, Tatoyan notes that it shows how in particular this resident of these villages along these sections of the road have become difficult and people have faced humanitarian problems including problems of the isolation of several settlements. Residents of village under threat of a possible attack by the Turkish armed forces in the Kurdish populated areas in northern Syria have begun to leave their homes. According to the Syrian Democratic Forces, so far 15 villages between the Tel Tamar and Ain Issa districts have been completely emptied. Press Secretary Ferhat Shami, saying that Turkey is preparing a new military operation, noted, accompanied by occupied Turkish soldiers and armored vehicles, hundreds of mercenaries were situated on the various parts. 
efforts. They have repeatedly tried to provoke our forces. 52-year-old resident of the village of Ain Abid Abduharim Ahmed, in an interview with the Kurdish media, noted that he was afraid of possible attack by the Turks. People will definitely suffer harm. They will be forced to leave their homes and immigrate. We will lose our livelihood. He stressed and called on the international community to prevent a possible war. Ministry of Economy of Armenia Vahan Keropian received the attorney embassy of the Republic of Iraq of Armenian dog Shukhalian, Khalil Al Jubar. The Minister of Economy of Armenia informing that thanking Khalil Jubar for a warm welcome, Shukhalian stated that Iraq wants to further strengthen the Armenian Iraqi relations and increase the volume of trade turnover with Armenia. He stressed the importance of Armenia for Iraq as well as the love of Armenians in his country and expressed the opinion that it is necessary to cooperate with Armenians for high-quality work. The attorney suggests holding a meeting of the intergovernmental commissions of the two countries in Baghdad and added that Iraq is interested in rebuilding its country with the perception of the company specializing in the construction and energy sectors of Armenia. On behalf of the government of Iraq, he also expressed readiness to assist Armenian companies. At the end of the meeting, the minister proposed to form a business delegation headed by him to visit Iraq. With the blessing of Kassali Garigin II, the publishing house of Holy Edge Mead incorporating with the college publishing house, specializing in a publication of maps of Armenia, with the financing of the Armenian Charitable Union published the maps, spiritual and historical monuments of Artsakh, in Armenian, English and Russian languages. This is the first experience of the publishing house of the Holy Edge Mead in publishing a separate map. However, in terms of the churches and monasteries, there is no precedent. The maps are also exceptional from the point of view of demarcation. Since the borders of the territories occupied by Artsakh, the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic, and now the Azerbaijani Armed Forces in 2020, and indicated as three different lines, through which one can clearly see monasteries, churches, and monuments of historical and religious significance that remain in captivity. Dear compatriots, exiled Armenians living in different parts of the world, the state television company of Western Armenia, remaining true to its principle and ideas, continues to pro-Armenian activities. Our long-term work is not an end to itself. It's an aim to informing you about the events taking place in our homeland, in Western Armenia and in the world. Our television continues to be a bridge connecting all Armenians of the world with each other. The closer our ties are, the closer we'll be to the victory of our just demand, the restoration of the violated rights of Western Armenia. Your support will contribute to our unity. Together, we can do more. Now the musical part, Armenian folk children's songs. The full version of this video is available on uh, Western Armenia's YouTube. This was all for today. Goodbye.